Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and our Mother. We ask for her maternal intercession. We pray that she may lead us closer to God and to one another. Let us now be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the Mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel 
set out from Ramesses for Sukkot, about 600,000 men on foot, not counting the little ones. A crowd of mixed ancestry also went up with them. Besides their livestock, very numerous flocks and herds. Since the dough they had brought out of Egypt was not leavened, they baked it into unleavened loaves. They had rushed out of Egypt and had no opportunity even to prepare food for the journey. The time the children of Israel had stayed in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of 430 years, all the host of the Lord left the land of Egypt on this very date. This was a night of vigil for the Lord as He led them out of the land of Egypt. So, on this same night, all the children of Israel must keep a vigil for the Lord throughout their generations. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our objection, for His mercy endures forever, and freed us from our foes, for His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who smote the Egyptians in their firstborn, for His mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from their midst, for His mercy endures forever. With a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, for His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who split the Red Sea in twain, for His mercy endures forever, and led Israel through its midst, for His mercy endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight, I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today tells us about the departure of the Israelites from Egypt. After 430 years of being in a foreign land, after many years of being slaves, God liberated His people from Egypt. God brought His people from slavery to freedom. And it was truly a Passover. They were passing over from Egypt to being the free people of God, from slavery to liberation. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is the work of God. God is Savior. Jesus, in our gospel today, is presented as the fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah and all the other prophets. The promise of God to send a Redeemer, a Savior, was fulfilled in Jesus. That is why He is called Jesus. The very name Jesus means God saves. Our God is our Savior. My dear brothers and sisters, God saves. And God wants us to be saved. God liberates us from anything that enslaves us. Ang pagliligtas ng Diyos ay pagpapalaya sa anumang umaalipin sa atin. Ang kaligtasan ay hindi lamang yung tungkol sa pagpasok sa langit. Yun ang tunay na kaligtasan. Pero ang kaligtasan nangyayari din sa atin dito sa lupa sa pagpapalaya ng Diyos sa atin mula sa kahit anumang umaalipin sa atin. And so today we ask ourselves, what enslaves you? What imprisons you? What is your Egypt? You may be imprisoned by a bad habit, by vices, Baka naaalipin tayo sa mga bisyo at sa mga masamang gawi at pag-uugali. We may be enslaved by an unhealthy relationship. Yung mga ugnayan natin na hindi nakakatulong kundi parang kinukulong tayo. We may be enslaved by our dark past, by dark experiences, bad experiences, yung mga hindi magandang karanasan na hanggang ngayon binabalik-balikan at dinadala pa rin natin. We may be enslaved by pride or by anger. We may be enslaved by evil deeds, by sin. What enslaves you? What imprisons you? What is your Egypt? My dear brothers and sisters, God does not want us to be enslaved by anyone or by anything. We are not created by God to be slaves. God claims us as His children in order to be free from anything that enslaves us in this world. Hindi kalooban ng Diyos na tayo'y maging alipin dahil nilikha niya tayong malaya. And so let us allow God to free us, to liberate us from our own Egypts. It is just that many times, despite God's desire to liberate us, 
we do not want to be free. Maraming beses, gusto naman ng Diyos, palayain tayo sa anumang umaalipin sa atin o kung sino mang umaalipin sa atin. Pero tayo, ayaw naman nating magpalaya. Gustong gusto nating magpaalipin. God is our Savior. And so let us heed His call. Let us hasten to go out of our Egypt so that we may live as true children of the Father, living in freedom as His true sons and daughters. Please stand. Let us turn to our merciful Father, who never turns his back on the poor and those in need. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the home of the weak and the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who hold public office may truly render service to their constituents in the right spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That consecrated persons may dedicate their whole lives to God and to the Church through their witness of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those who suffer and those who are ill. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also pray for people asking our prayers. We also include the intentions offered in this Mass. Merciful Father, make us true servants of your love. May we become more and more like your Son who came to serve and not to be served. This we ask in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you and grant that enlightened by the Holy Spirit and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof. roof. But only, only say the, the word, word, and, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.